Hey guys, what is going on? This is ETG. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have for you guys an epic 10k squad builder. These right here are the exact prices at this time. So about 11k on the Xbox and about 10.5k on the PlayStation. So roughly about 10k on both consoles. I'm gonna be building this team in the 4 triple 2 formation. Now in game, I actually don't play in this formation. I'm gonna be showing you guys at the end of the video how the team does play in game as well as the player instructions and the custom tactics so hopefully you guys do enjoy leave a like on the video if you do and let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next i've done a couple other squads on fifa 20 so go ahead and check them out i've done a 50k team a 20k team and a 100k team so if you guys are looking for like a higher budget team go ahead and check out those videos i will leave a link to those videos in the comment section so again 10k for this team a really sweaty team can compete really Really well especially right now at the beginning of FIFA so let's go ahead and start building it the goalkeeper is gonna be from the Serie A and we're gonna be going with a non rare goalkeeper that is gonna be Marante a really decent goalkeeper 6 foot 4 500 coins I didn't want to spend too much money on a goalkeeper so that's why I bought him and also I do need him for chemistry so that's been the goalkeeper and then the center back on the right it is gonna be his teammate that is gonna be Juan Jesus a really quick center back 74 pace 6 foot 1 low high work rates only gonna cost you about 750 coins played quite well on this team really aggressive and then the right back it is gonna be a right wing back that is gonna be from the league one which is Kenny Lala he's a player that I thought would be a bit higher rated he did get a lot of special cards on FIFA 19 so I'm not too sure why he's not rare 79 pace 74 defending he has decent pace really nice crossing and the stamina isn't too bad either so then the center back on the left hand side it is gonna be a player from this area that is gonna be Izzo 81 rated not the most pace on him but he does feel pretty agile in game really solid defensively 84 stand tackle 83 interceptions i know you guys may look at the pace and think that he's not usable but i think anything above like 65 pace is good enough you can't go wrong for only about 800 coins so then the final defender the left back it is gonna be a non-rare player and the last non-rare player of the team that is gonna be gulam he's quite well rounded 75 pace 78 defending six foot so kind of tall for a fullback he has really high stamina, quite good on the ball, and decent defensively as well. So that right there has been the defense. And then moving to the midfield, the CDM on the left-hand side, it is going to be a Serie A player. That is going to be Parolo. A really solid player. He does have 64 pace, so not the highest pace. But I think as a CDM, I did play him as a CDM. You really don't need that much pace. Every other stat other than pace above 70, 6 feet tall, high high work rates. Really cheap, has really high stamina. A decent shot as well. So then the other CDM on the right. We're going to be moving to the League 1 and going with Thiago Mendes. One of the more expensive players in this team. He does have every stab of 70, 4 shot skills, high medium work rates that are not ideal. But I did play him as a center mid in game and he plays quite well in that position. He isn't too bad at getting forward and defensively he's really solid. He does have 81 ball control, 82 interceptions, 87 stamina. A really well rounded player and then the center attacking mid on the right. It is going to be a center mid. That is going to be a war. I think you pronounce it that way. I'm not too sure. Let me know down below in the comment section. Really similar stats to Thiago Mendes. 79 pace, 83 dribbling, 4 shot skills, only about 1.1k. He feels really smooth on the ball, 84 ball control, 81 dribbling. He feels quite quick for center mid. I think the only problem he does have is that he's a bit weak, but other than that, for about 1.1k, I can't really complain. So then the center attacking mid on the left hand side, it is gonna be a player from this area that is gonna be a center forward, which is gonna be Correa. And this guy did get a team of the season last year and now on FIFA 20 he has a really usable card 84 pace 84 dribbling 6 foot 2 4 star 4 star super cheap only about 700 coins this guy just has everything for a cam he's kind of like a cheap Havertz I think they're both 6 foot 2 have good pace good dribbling and a decent shot as well he does have looking at the Ingham stats 86 sprint speed 84 agility 72 strength so not the weakest player either if you guys are looking for a cheap cam in this area yeah, this guy is your player so then now I'm Moving to the strikers, the first one on the left hand side, it is going to be a player that does play in China, which is going to be Adair. 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 78 shooting, 4 star, 4 star, only 700 coins. Played really well on this team, scored me quite a few goals. So then the final player, the striker on the right, it is going to be the scoring machine. That is going to be Alex Teixeira. Now this guy has a broken card and I can't believe he's only 79 rated. Looking at the stats on the card, he does not look like he's that low rated. A whopping 92 
pace, 82 dribbling, 72 physical, 4 star, 4 star. I did pick him up on beta for about a K last night. And right now, he is going to cost you about 2.1K. So he is the most expensive player of the team. But this guy is well worth it. Probably the best striker you can buy under like 5K. The pace on this guy is just incredible. This guy feels rapid. Has really high acceleration and agility. The finishing feels really good. He does have 84 composure. So really doesn't miss too often. He isn't the weakest player either. Does have 72 strength. This guy just has it all. As I've said, you can't buy a better striker under 5k. Once this guy gets him behind, he's just rapid and no defenders catching him. You guys have to go ahead and try him out if you haven't already. So that right there has been the 10k squad builder. Probably the best team you can buy for that price. I mean, this team just has it all. The defense is quite solid. The midfield is pretty good and the attack is just broken. So now showing you guys how the team does play in game. I do play in the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. Parolo does play as a CDM. Correa as a center attacking mid and then up top Textera and Adair. In my opinion, that's probably the best way to use this team in game. You can also play if you're more comfortable in the 4-2-3-1 and then play Awar at Cam. But I think it plays better in this formation. And honestly, I think this formation is kind of the best formation on FIFA I've played with so far. The 4-2-3-1 is okay, but the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation is a bit better. So that's how the team does play in game. And now showing you guys my custom tactics. I go ahead and set the defensive style on press after possession loss. The width, I do up it by one. And then for the depth, I go ahead and minus it by two. Having low depth this year, I think just works really well. And then for the offensive style, I go ahead and set it on fast buildup. The width, I do actually leave it the same. The players in the box, I up it by one. And then I do leave corners and free kicks the same. Those right there are my custom tactics. And now getting on to the player instructions. I set the right back on left back on stay back while attacking. The CDM on cut passing lane stay back while attacking and cover center. The two center mids on cover center. Then the center attacking the mid on stay forward and free roam. And the strikers on get them behind and stay forward. You can set the strikers if you want on stay central. That works really well if you guys play more like through the middle. It's really up to you how you play in game. Those are my player instructions and my custom tactics. Go ahead and try them out. See if they work for you. They're obviously not going to work for everybody. Just go ahead and try them out. So again that right there has been the 10k squad builder. A fantastic team. Really balanced. It played really well in game. It really has no weaknesses. I think the only weakness in the team might probably be, to be honest, Juan Jesus. He wasn't the best for me in the games I did play, but other than him, just an awesome team. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have, and let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next. Also subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it. This has been ETG, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.